What is the thinking behind this and how much demand is there for something like this? Yeah, thank you both for having me on. It's a really interesting time in the credit markets. What we've been seeing is this migration of capital from the public markets over to the private markets. And we've seen the private credit market, which Apollo is a really big player in, really grow. What has happened this year, though, is that um, given that like new bond sales and new M&A deals have been extremely suppressed, um, the, the private credit funds are having to get more creative in how they're going to deploy some of that cap capital, and this is one of those examples. Why? Well, but why? What are they actually seeing here in terms of value? Do you know? Yes, I, I do think that they believe that once the market begins to correct itself a little bit and once we move into next year and rates start to even out, that a lot of the debt that they're looking to snap up off of banks' balance sheets will recover to a level that will be an attractive uh, buy for them. In the Bloomberg News story about this fund, uh, Apollo apparently sees opportunities to refi next year some of the $100 billion of debt that's maturing in 2024. Interest rates have been rising, so yeah. how would they refi? I mean, would they're going to be paying up more. So what's going to happen essentially is that some companies are going to need to refinance next year, um, whether they like it or not, because they're kind of um, behind the curve and sort of getting ahead of their maturity. So what Apollo is now seeing is an opportunity to snap up some of those bonds because they're going to probably come in at a double-digit uh, coupon, uh, like we saw with Carnival recently, just uh, priced at a 12 percent uh, yield. Do you anticipate that we'll see other uh, big players in this space other than Apollo get into this or expand into this? Yes, I do. I, I think it's a, a lucrative opportunity. The private credit funds are sitting on a lot of dry powder. They have to find a way to put this money to work. And although uh, investors were not interested in the $43 billion that's currently hung on bank balance sheets. That has a lot to do with the state of the economy that we're in right now. And with these private credit funds, what they're often doing is a like buy and hold strategy. So they're holding the, this debt until it matures, which um, can allow them to make some attractive returns.